right, hello there YouTube, this is The Guardian here from Capital Gear Gaming, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I am playing this horrible game, uh, or at least I've heard it's horrible. Um, now, the major problem I've seen that people have with the game is that it has um, performance issues. Well, on the main menu here, I'm running at 60 FPS, and I'm recording at 60 FPS. Uh, this is maxed out settings as well, and the graphics aren't that bad, to be honest. Um, you know, it's got some uh, good anti-aliasing. It's just got the regular temporal anti-aliasing, which is, I guess, new for this game because it came out a little while ago. So, um, under advanced options, I've got everything, you know, set up as high as it goes. Um, yeah. So hopefully it should run fine. If it doesn't, then I guess that's uh, that's one reason to not like it. Uh, subtitles will be on. Aim assist will not be on because I, uh, I'm uh, I'm playing this on a computer. I don't right. Um, so yes, I've heard that this game is just horrible. It's just a horrendous game. Like it's bad in so many ways. It does some good things, but it does a lot of bad things. Well, I figured I'd give it a try and see for myself. So let's check this out, shall we? Um, I think I'll just go with Hardened. I've heard it's a horrendous console port. It started back at the Apex Corporation Ooh. in the seventies, and the birth of Silicon River in North Korea. Even back then, their tech was way ahead of what was coming out of America. We bought everything they could sell from phones to tablets to just about anything. And when they started making weapons, well, we couldn't resist. Our wars in the Middle East have been worse and worse, one leading us straight to the next. Even after that terrible day in Riyadh, we kept fighting as our country fell apart. And still, we bought Apex to give us an edge. As the dollar tanked, our debt to North Korea spiraled. Unemployment rocketed, and the country was on its knees. The failing government defaulted on their debt, and the North Koreans made their decision. Every piece of technology they'd sold us had a back door. They turned off our military with a single button press. The first KPA troops on U.S. soil were said to be there to rebuild. But after the early aid packages, there was only brutality. They stole our liberty and our freedom. America is under control of the KPA. You can see that frame rate drop. <laughs> it is a cutscene, so maybe it's loading stuff. Hopefully. That's the idea, I guess. So there should be no actual loading screen, if that's the case. Or if there is, it should be short. Okay, this is part of it, I guess. Hello, and welcome to KAC. I'm Su Bing Kang. Today's top story. Preparations begin today for the much-anticipated Patriots Day Parade. This auspicious calendar event celebrates the contribution of the liaison officers who work tirelessly to bridge the gap between the emergency administration and the ordinary citizens. To ensure the safety of the citizens during the parade, Mayor Simpson has vowed to redouble anti-terrorist efforts and has allocated additional peacekeeper resources to tackle any and all criminal activity in the lead-up to the parade. Mayor Simpson has just released the following statement. We all know only too well the threats we face daily here in Philadelphia. The bombings, the shootings, all orchestrated by Benjamin Walker's national network of terror. Rest assured, we will bring these criminals to justice. <clears throat> Peacekeeper patrols keep our streets safe and secure for all citizens. Thanks to improved threat recognition systems in our drones, potential oh. terrorists can be so we were in the game. and neutralized swiftly. Calls us terrorists after what he's done. He wouldn't be so confident if he knew Walker was right here in Philly. Yeah, Walker's really gonna 
stir things up. How long do these do? Five minutes. One of those new drones isn't scanning. Are we ready? I don't think so. It's something ain't ready. Only been what? Two, three days with us? And you're gonna meet Walker in person? And he's the whole reason I'm here. He's inspired all of us. Brady, can you pass me some gas? Thanks. I guess Walker was a legend in Washington, too, huh? I heard a little about what happened there. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here with us. Hey, now. guys, there's something weird. The streets deserted. What? Shit, is it us? Walker's gonna be here any minute. <laughs> Okay, so we saw a couple of frame rate drops. It, nothing drastic. Um, I've heard that the PS4 like goes down into like like 14 FPS sometimes, and like, oof. ooh, did I not turn VSync on? I thought I turned VSync on. I'll change that as soon as I can because I'm noticing tearing over. So we can get started. So, you are gonna tell me. Benjamin Walker. What a waste of your time here. The last thing I heard, Walker was down in Memphis. You know I have superpowers. Fuck your powers, you pathetic little traitor. Ooh, sounds like someone needs a demonstration. I'll show you exactly how powerful I am. And I take my hand like this. I point. I hate it when subtitles tell you who the person is beforehand. <laughs> I'm just kind of hoping it's a lot like um, Assassin's Creed Unity where the cutscenes have issues more so than the rest of the game. Um, other than that, I could obviously just turn down anti-aliasing because that, that'll probably be a major contributor, maybe. But the anti-aliasing they use is really nice. <laughs> it works amazingly well. And it's sharp too, rather than blurry. <clears throat> right. So this is this is running on a, like a brand new computer as well. So if you uh, think my performance is bad, I don't know how it's going to run on your computer. To be honest, not that I know what your computer is, but should be safe here for now. The Norks will tear the district apart looking for us. We've got to make contact with another resistance cell. Yeah, okay. Time to get shot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Remember these? 
This phone is our ticket to safety, if you can find a network transceiver and hack into it. That'll connect us to the hidden resistance signal. Like, that's kind of cool, if you ask me. A little, like, drones. Oof. We're working blind here. You need to find a resistance stash. That should have intel on the district, including transceiver locations. Right. So first... Okay, so it is on. It just... <clears throat> try that instead. See if it just runs it better. No, it's still going down to about 40. <clears throat> I'll just turn that off then. We'll see if it helps it any. Not really, eh? I, don't, I didn't think it would. I think it's um, not my graphics card. Um, by the way, I'm using the AMD 8370, which has been overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz. It's an 8-core system. And uh, a GTX 1060 as well. In case you're wondering what I'm using. Um, how do I navigate this? Oh, it's... Okay. So, to look at the... Read so I could open this. But only that much. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not. I'm definitely not getting 60 FPS here, which is a bit of a shame. And I'm still getting like screen tearing, even though I have VC. Lots of bad signs, basically. Um, I feel like I shouldn't go near those guys. But I've ran games that worse. Um, try that, maybe. If it is, I think it's a CPU, not um, <coughs> graphics card. Dropping quite a lot here. <laughs> it's kind of kind of surprising, you know, um, that a game can perform so badly on a computer like mine. Holy shit! To be honest, um, Space Hulk Deathwing is performing worse than this. Um, so keep in mind, Space Hulk Deathwing looks a million times nicer. You can scan me and cause issues. What happens if I just walk away? Oh, it definitely wants to scan. That's cool. Oh, it was fine with it. See, that's that's cool. I like I like the setting. I like the environment. I like um, how shit works. You know, like that's really cool stuff. I bet if I talk to them or something like that, they probably get pissed off at me. Ow! Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god! All I did was say hello to him. <laughs> okay. Apparently, you're not allowed to touch them. They get really angry. Uh, yes, I'm used to playing games at low FPS, so I don't exactly mind this. I know it kind of bothers some people, but I'm sorry. I didn't expect to have to go through all this again. Give me the thing. Is there ever a good time? Take it, just take it. Another thing is I've been playing Steep, which is like a brand new game, and it looks beautiful. It looks incredible. And I'm pretty sure it probably has a bigger map. I get that there's not as much going on in Steep, but considering how pretty it looks, uh, I, could, I just can't believe that this game doesn't run so well. You know, like, again, it's one of those situations where I don't mind it so much, but it's it's just unusual, you know? Especially considering that it's not some super high-end 
I mean, it's a nice looking game, definitely. I mean, look at it. It's fucking gorgeous, really, if you just look at it. I mean, the re reflections, all this stuff is really nice, but... Am I allowed to actually cross that? I don't know if I am. Like, I don't know what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not. I think those are just for vehicles. <clears throat> Which would make sense, of course. So yeah, it's a nice looking game, absolutely. I think it's fucking gorgeous looking. It's almost akin to um, the, what is it called, the Fox engine? The one that used, uh, that was used in PT as well as, um, like, I mean, look at the lighting, wow. I mean, it's a nice looking game, but uh, I feel like I've seen better, like Doom, and that runs 60 FPS in my computer, solid. So, I, I don't I'm just saying, you know, I find it a bit strange. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a flashlight. How do I... Of course, it's not F, because, you know, that would make sense. Oh, that's cool. You could, like, take apart a computer. Take that, I guess. Um, I'm... Uh, you guys can pause and read. I'm not... I mean, the story is cool, but I don't think that's really all that important, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so I guess I found crafting material. I think there's crafting in this game, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, yeah, inside buildings, I'm getting about 60 FPS, which isn't too bad. Um, it's, it's a bit fluctuary, you know, it's going like 50 around there. Outside is where it's bad, though. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of, I don't mind the story. The story is, of course, you know, ridiculous, but then again, we're talking about a video game here, so I don't really expect the story to be realistic and standardized, you know? Um, this isn't The Last of Us, after all. Well, I mean, even The Last of Us isn't technically realistic. It's just... Okay, do I actually need to, like, drink water in the game? I don't... I think I do. I'll fuck you up. Oh, ooh. A little twitchy area. I'm trying to talk to the freaking dude. Do I have to like walk right up to him? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe they'll like unlock later, I guess. I probably don't even have money, so that's probably why. I was just seeing if I could look at what they have. Oh, yeah. So this is sort of like a cross, uh, as far as I'm aware, it's sort of like a cross between, like, um... I think it's like a cross between... freaking Far Cry and... stuff like that. Um, which isn't exactly a bad thing, it's just... Some people don't like that because it's a bit old. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, um, oh, uh, okay. Access the panel, move the mouse. Ow. I just realized what I was doing. Oh. Um, well, there we go. <laughs> See, you way up there. There you go. Like that. It's, it's different, I guess. That's a bit. Alright. So, uh. I'm hearing like weird static. I don't know if that's like Audacity doing that. I don't know if you guys hear it. Well, maybe it was part of the game. It was kind of weird. Sounding. Again, you you guys see the vertical syncing issues, right? Is that because I'm dipping below 60? But I have V-Sync on, so... Yeah, weird. I don't know. Others will rise up! You can't stop! Ah! 
Again, that's not a bad looking game. <laughs> wow, it's actually quite nice looking.